Hey guys, welcome to the video. And what we have here today is the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil 2. So this is a 128 gigabyte uh, iPad Pro 11 inch, uh, fourth generation, and it is Wi-Fi enabled. So this is actually for my little brother for school, uh, just for taking notes. The only thing he uses out of this iPad is the Notes app. So he actually needs a good screen, which the Pro does have. And also this is a good amount of size. You know, the big one is too big. And I guess, you know, since this is a pro, this will actually last a little bit longer than the regular ones. And, but then, you know, this thing was dumb expensive. This was $800 and then obviously taxes on top of that. Uh, there we go. So let's actually not talk too much and get to the unboxing of this. Now, Apple products are super fascinating to open. What we're going to do here is pull the tab. As you probably noticed, there's no plastic. And that's because I guess they got rid of the plastic, uh, but then the pencil has it. Uh, most of the, uh, I guess the phones are also, you know, plastic wrapped. I don't know about the 14. I haven't gotten the 14 yet. Here we are. Now this is the top. There's no padding or anything in the inside, but this thing is packed very tightly. So I don't think it's an issue. Now let's actually get to the device here. We have the iPad right on top. Now this thing is nicely wrapped in a matte kind of paper or plastic. I don't even know at this point, but just peeling it off. And this is what it looks like. Now this is the back. Let's go over the back first. We have the two cameras and a sensor uh, over here. And then we have the flashlight and you know microphone. Then we have the Apple logo in the middle. We have iPad Pro writing on the bottom here. And uh, there are three dots here. I don't even know what this does, honestly. Um, I think it's for the pencil, but I know that pencil charges on the side. I honestly have no idea about this. Um, but on the bottom side here, we have the lightning port for charging. And then we also have two speakers on two sides. And then we have a hole here. I don't know what this hole is for. Um, and then this is the top. The top, we have the power button here on the right side and then two speakers on two ends. And then we have more holes. I'm thinking they're microphones or something. Um, so that's, you know, pretty much it for the sides. And then we have the screen here. It's pretty nice. I gotta say, um, it does look very, you know, glassy, you know, very high quality, like the, uh, pro iPhones, um, the regular one, however, it was like very wavy looking the, the, the display, it was like really annoying. Um, I couldn't even use that actually. It's really bad. The shape, as you can see, is you know pretty squarey. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice to hold it. It doesn't like you know the edges don't hurt or anything. It's a little bit rounded, kind of. So that's pretty nice. Very nice touch to everything, and it's pretty slim. So you know shouldn't be an issue using this thing. Now here's the rest of the box. Now there is a cutout here on top for the camera notch, and then we have an envelope. This contains papers, papers, stickers, fun stuff. Now these are the big stickers. Don't really get this often. And then we have chargers. Now this actually does come with fully functioning charger. We have USB-C to USB-C braided wires. This thing is super nice. I've actually never ever seen uh, one like this. I guess these are the new wires that Apple is, uh, you know, pushing out now. That's pretty cool, you know. The old ones, you know, they used to break all the time. Especially, I remember when iPhone 5 came out, like from iPhone 5 to like iPhone 7, uh, they had issues where this, you know, there would be issues with uh, the connection here. Like, it was just like, the plastic was like really bad, but this looks very classy, you know, it looks pretty nice. 
and then we have a brick now how many watt is this this is a 20 watt brick which is pretty cool it's gonna charge this thing up pretty fast and that is it for the box now for the pencil this is an apple pencil and this is the second generation i think the cheaper ipads work with the older one but yeah this is 129 dollars apple pencil and let's go and open this up okay so now we have a tab here that we're gonna pull and this thing slides right out we have obviously the envelope right on top uh, this thing says designed by Apple in California uh, a bunch of papers and yeah that's it in the uh, envelope and here we have the pencil now there is a plastic tab that you can actually grab to pull the pencil out of this thing and that's pretty much it for the box and that's pretty much it for the pencil too this is just a pencil except this is obviously a smart pencil which is wrapped in plastic um, it's pretty matte it feels very premium and nice it does say Apple Pencil here on the top uh, corner here and we have I'm not sure if these yep these are detachable tip which you can replace after you know using it and stuff for a certain time now the Apple Pencil goes on the side just like that and it's pretty strong I mean it's not you're not gonna lose it like you know unless you're very vigorous with it but it's pretty uh, good enough traction here that's pretty good um, it just you know stores just like this and charges just like that and then you can just take it out and take your notes and then put it right back so this side here is actually uh, flat so it actually sits here but the rest of it is round uh, so it basically just charges out of the iPad like I said and stays just like that you know just onboard storage here and unlike the older version this one doesn't have to be plugged into the iPad as wireless like this so yeah that's about it for this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment thank you so much for watching see you guys next time peace